your idea of uh, uh, Jesus or, or, or any of the prophets or, 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 or spiritual leaders or God or, right, so, uh, or, or, or Buddha for that matter, are they, are they, uh, are they nice people? What is the true message and what is the true path? What, what, what is it that you are wanting to convey? Well, I... That, you know... The whole, whole teaching of Jesus in the Bible is not there. So, to be able to teach people, you know, the real reason why he was here. I know it's like... It sounds... It's kind of hard to explain, but but to be able to, so people could understand. I know that everybody, you know, religion is like a diet. You know, not every religion is the right for everyone. You know, not every religion um, is uh, benefits everyone. But at the same time, the path is still the same. It's to return to love. But I feel like it's just like, there's a lot of ego in religion. <laughs> okay. So how do you think that by accessing any past life will be able to help you convey this message to stop ego in religion? Mm. Maybe it might not, you know, because, but I would, I guess merely for for me, for for my own healing, for my benefit, you know, to be able to to know to know what his true message was, because it really won't, to be honest, it probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. We go in one full circle now. <laughs> probably won't help. Uh, um, Grandma's to share something um, very interesting thing um, about. Uh, uh, what 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 we think here? Okay, so first of all, let's clarify a few things. Now we've become unsure whether it will help or not. Okay, so now <laughs> now we've got into unsure. Before we were wanting it for that for that reason. Um, uh, what you ideally want, if if I'm correct in saying, is you want to help people remove from all this, uh, whether it's ego, fight, or trauma, religious trauma, and then get into love, become love and oneness. This is, this is your I I ideal, right? And so you have an idea, I'm guessing you have some sort of idea what love and oneness or love means. And I guess that idea is beautiful, and if you can put that out there, then that will be beautiful. Exactly the way you see it. And that will be most beautiful. Okay? If we go back into stories or, or know the truth about who said what or why, why they said what, mm, then maybe it will have imperfections to a point where your idea of perfection or, or, or this fairy tale or this myth or this idea of it is even more beautiful. Maybe that is more powerful. Maybe even the thoughts that even Jesus had, or we can refer to other religions or anything as well, or whether the thoughts of what Buddha had, of what uh, life should be or how beautiful it should be and what their message wanted to, you know, what they really wanted to put out to the world. Um, was more beautiful than also the imperfection of every part of existence because every part of existence has imperfection. And why I'm saying that is because I want to just throw a question out there. Your idea of uh, uh, Jesus or, or, or any of the prophets or, 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 or spiritual leaders or God or, right? So 
uh, or, or, or Buddha for that matter, are they, are they, uh, are they nice people? I'm guessing your answer will be yes. You, you dare not say otherwise. <laughs> your answer is they're nice people. Are they loving? You'll say yes. Are they, do they, yes, should we learn from them? Yes, we should learn from them. And then anything that, the, uh, let's say, when we struggle with relationship or something, or have relationship matters, we can look at some, some teachings from these teachers. And we'll be like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. Okay. But those who know Buddha's story is Buddha gave up his whole family. He didn't want his wife. He decided to leave his whole family. He decided to leave his wife to pursue a path of teaching people, empowering people around the world. But he just walked away. So, so then, uh, is he a nice guy? Responsibility? Yeah. Is he a, is he a <coughs> good love and relationship teacher? Now, this is uh, this all question now. This is question. Uh, so there's no answer. This is all question. But I'm putting this out there because you are saying you want to seek truth back into a time <coughs> of a, a human existence, of another human. I believe what you want to do may, with the idea, the beauty of what you want to do, I believe is probably as aligned as every beauty in every teacher or spiritual teacher of the past, I believe the alignment is, is pure, is alignment, is like that. But I don't believe that seeing everything will make it any more beautiful than it is in your head. You, you see, Ali, you have a beautiful message. There is nothing stopping you from conveying that message right now. You understand your perception of what this uh, so-called uh, religious trauma, this thing is. You understand the problem because you've been there and you can relate to all the people in there. You have a message for those people. It doesn't require any... Um, it doesn't require truth. Okay. Everybody should understand that truth, our idea of truth will always want to be beautiful. Is it not? Is it not like that? In every relationship we have in life, our idea of what we think they should be is beautiful, is wonderful. Truth is everything. Truth is negative and positive. In, uh, in all 97 divine spirits here, you all have negative and positive. You all have something you've done before that you don't like. There's not the most beautiful side of you. You've had things you've said before. It's not the most beautiful side of you. This is truth. Truth is positive, negative. If, you're, if, you're, if the reasoning behind why you wanted it is to empower people, then you should focus on that is your, the beautiful message that you have. That is what you should put out. I would like to not just disregard the question though. Your question was how to. How to in, we can only say from our practices, how to is same through this way. In meditation, same through this way. If you can see some imagery of it, which you could, if, you, if the mind is silent enough, your senses, they heighten. 
When your senses heighten, you hear more, see more, you see more. Things flash up. Your closest feeling to Jesus, allow that feeling to grow. Some vision will come up. It will be blurry at first, and you will feel that maybe I'm just making it up. But if you did not think, okay, visualize me and Jesus sat on a table. If you did not think that, then you did not make it up. Because to make a vision up, you must think. So if mind is silence and you're not thinking, but you are just feeling Jesus, then you see yourself in a certain situation with Jesus. Then you are there with Jesus at that timing. And so how do we enter with when we do the different uh, meditations and traveling is when we can allow that feeling, that, uh, that energy, that, 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 that scenery to reveal itself, we'll say, oh, why is there a table? Or why is there, oh, I'm sat there. Why are they sat over there? What's Okay, just don't try to visualize. Because if you try to visualize, then you, you, will, you will create. You will say, okay, visualize me and him in a car. No, it's relax. Oh, I see something. If you are not thinking it, where did it come from? It come from outside memory. So now it's recalling memory. It's in existence. That energy is there. It's been done. So what do we do? Allow ourselves to intend. So I always uh, balance between intention and surrendering. Intend to be there while surrendering, relaxing, not trying too hard. And allow the energy, all your energies to move in to being there exactly where you're sat at that table or wherever you are walking or whatever you're doing on a mountain, whatever. Allow yourself to be there. The only thing that will keep bringing you back is mind, distraction. When mind comes in, you start thinking, what time is it? Uh, should I finish this meditation now? Then you are out. Stay there. The longer you stay there, you can engage. Just observe. Become the witnesser. Observe. Listen. What, are they, what is being said then? So focus. Undivided focus. Be all there. If all of your energy, you bring as much energy, we, we talk about a 90%, 10% distribution. 10% will still be here in this physical body. 90% distribution, if we can be all focused in that and mind is not scattered, then we will start, oh, why am I feeling they're saying this to me? Then the feeling, then I become hearing. If I focus hard enough, it will then become hearing. Where are we walking to? Everyone's walking. Where are we walking to now? Oh, there's a river. Why is there a river? Just keep walking. Don't ask questions. Just keep walking. Okay. Oh, sun is there. Okay. Who are all these people? Okay, don't ask questions. Just witness. So in that consistent practice of a meditation that way, meditation to go out dimension, that is the way um, that is the way to 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 see it. Mm. So in practice, you can do like that way. Uh, but then again, going back to your question before, I don't believe it's most useful to your purpose. <laughs>